Ew, welcome to Slay the Spire. Today we're playing the daily challenge for July 3rd, 2021. The character of the Ironclad and the mod for our heirloom. Start with one rare relic. Colorless cards, colorless cards are on pain rewards. And night turns, resting at rest sites heals 100% of your HP, but costs 5 max HP. I don't see any familiar names here. It's a little earlier than what I usually play. Uh, let's review my score from yesterday. Yeah, Vorpal, you can check out his comment on my video yesterday. He had a pretty successful run. I did not do that well. Oh, I see Doug, uh, Douglas here again with 1601. That's a really good score. I perfected everything, but I think I missed the I like shiny modifier as well as uh, the curses modifier. So 52 is not bad for perfecting everything, basically. So I'm not going to complain. All right, moving on to today's run. Let's see how we can do. So heirloom, we get uh, ooh magic flower healing is 50% 50, 50 more effective during combat. I honestly don't. I mean, it's nice. It's just, you know, I rarely have an issue with HP. It's really good for ascension drones, though. All right, hexagos at the end, multiple two elite paths. Actually, no, I have to stick on the in the middle if I want to get a two elite path. So I have to choose between these two elites. If I stick to the left guy, I can get three question marks and then the paths converge here. If I stick with the right guy, I think I can get four, right? One, two, three, four question marks. And then after this point, they're common. I have to turn left. Uh, yep, let's do that. Okay, and then colorless cards. I will hope for a mind plus, but I don't think I'll try to go for the Highland modifier. With colorless cards, it's always hard to get um, collector bonuses. No, other way around. It's hard to get the, or it's easy enough to get the collector bonuses that I think it's worth it. Let's do Bash and Strike. Also, going for um, going for collector bonuses might make it a little harder to get curses because then I have to. I don't have to worry about, um, you know, not having duplicate curses, which is very difficult. All right, and now because of Magic Flower, I always will heal nine at the end of combat instead of six, uh, which should allow me to take something like Bloodletting. I don't think I'll take the others. Body Slam is not that great if I don't have any defense synergies yet. All right, Jaw Worm, let's do Bash, Bloodletting, and then uh, might as well play everything. Okay. And then here I can kill. Good. I got a fear potion. Oh, actually, the magic flower will make it a little harder to. I have to lose a lot of HP before the hexagos fight, and there's an elite here, so I should try to drop down to the low 40s here, and then try to drop down to how much would that be? Like five? Because I heal nine after every fight, right? So if I heal 18, I have to drop down uh, to three, which is a little dangerous with an elite upcoming. Let's take Iron Wave here. Let's get there first and decide what happens. All right. Unfortunately, I can't kill. Anyone here? Let's just triple defend, yeah. Not take any damage that way. Okay. And then here I can do bash, strike, bloodletting, and then another strike. Okay. I will be weakened here, but I can do. Uh, yeah, you know what? No need to take damage here. Okay. And then without weakness, I should be able to kill next turn. Okay. All right. Okay, so perfect the strike, shrug it off, finesse. Finesse is not a bad idea. I am wondering if I should take something like perfect the strike just to have some good uh, damage cards early on. Otherwise, I might have trouble killing things. Here I got curse number one, injury, as well as the golden idol. And if you start 25% more gold, okay. And here, I mean, I, I should go for the curse modifier, so I don't think I want to remove all my curses. First upgrade should probably be the perfect the strike to make it a little better. Uh, here I got just a regular fight. Uh, yeah, 24. I mean, it's not ideal, but better than nothing. Let's also do bloodletting. Kill this guy. Okay. And this kills. Good. All right. Got a blood potion, which I believe if I drink it... Um, yeah, I think it will also be affected by magic flower, but obviously I don't want to drink it now. Uh, I don't think I need heavy blade flex. Yeah, I, I'll go with shockwave. I'm not super happy about it. All right, so sentries might be difficult, especially with this opener. Um, anything I can do? Not really, right? Unless I can kill this guy, but no, there's no chance. I can weaken, but then I still don't have enough blocks. So yeah, I guess I'll do shockwave still. Okay, and then just strike. I'll accept the damage. I don't think there's much I can do. So this means that this elite is either the Gremlin, or, uh, Gremlin Knob or the Lagavulin. And against both, I'm a little worried about losing too much HP or entering the fight with too little HP. So I don't think I'll try to lose as much as possible. At least, actually, let me do Perfect the Strike U because then I can kill with the Iron Wave, do Bloodletting, and then Strike and Defend. Okay. 
And then here, I realize I don't have any AoE, right? So that is a problem. Let's do Strike, Double Defend, okay? A little dangerous because my, my discard pile is full of Dazed. All right, okay, perfect, the strike is enough, very nice. And uh, you know what, do I wanna do, you know what, might might not hurt to do a, well, it does literally hurt a little bit, but I think it's worth it. Bash, defend. And then here I can kill, good. All right, didn't perfect, but I got war paint. I'm gonna pick up, okay, two random skills. Let me first see, if I'm going for a collector bonus, I should go with the iron wave, right? Yep, and then war paint upgrades to defense, which is not great, but okay. Blood Vial at the start of each combat, heal 2 HP, which actually I think now becomes 3 HP with Magic Flower and makes it very hard to have little HP against the Gremlin Knob, uh, against the, like, uh, the Hexagos, I mean. I got Bag, bag of Marbles at the, at the start of each combat, apply one vulnerable to all enemies, that's very nice, and I'm getting to fight the sentries again. Okay, this is slightly, actually no, I was gonna say it's slightly better, but it's not really. I can do Iron Wave, at least this doesn't count against the Perfect, because this is not considered a lead fight, really. Okay, I can do Shockwave and Defend, all right. All right, another six. Uh, let's do a Strike. Hang on, Bloodletting. And then I can do Bash, Strike, and Double Defend. Okay. I'm actually thinking I could do something with a Blood Potion, lose a lot of HP, and if I'm not perfecting the next Elite Fight, I'll just drink the Blood Potion. That might be an option, though. Then I'm afraid I might heal too much. So let's get there first. Because okay, twenty percent of my max HP is going to be sixteen, plus another eight, so twenty-four from Magic Flower. Eh, might be a little risky. Right, let's kill this guy. Okay. And then here I can do bash, bloodletting, play everything else. Okay. And then two decent attacks will kill. Okay, one more attack will kill. Mm-hmm. All right. We got, oh, no Relic, right, because I already got the Bag of Marbles. I was hoping to get another uh, potion, but I guess that didn't happen. Let's take another Perfected Strike, okay. All right, uh, is, I did want to drop down to the low 40s here, so let's accept some damage. I'll just wait, it's okay. Yeah, drop down to 40s and then see what I can do. I, I think I'll keep the Blood Potion for emergencies. I will do Shockwave. Actually, maybe I shouldn't have done Shockwave because it applied weakness. It makes it a little... Actually, no, I, I'm good now. I think I can try to kill them now. Uh, so I can kill you and you. Let's also do bloodletting. Okay. And then here I can kill Perfect the Strike. I'll do bloodletting again and then kill. All right. Okay, got Entropic Brew. That's really good. Panic Button might be nice. Yeah, I like it more than the other cards. And then here there's a bunch of gold for another curse. I think I will try this. So I'll try to drop down to, what did I say, 3 HP? Oh no, it has to be, it literally has to be 1 HP, right? Because I have Blood Vial still too. So fine, um, let's do, oh wait, why is this only, to oh it's not upgraded, right? Okay, so Perfected Strike, Bloodletting. And then I can just play everything and I'm targeting the backliner because I, no, I want to kill. And I don't want him to accidentally run away with my gold. Uh, I will take some damage here, so let's wait for the Spike Slime to attack me. Eat incoming, yeah, that's okay. Um, I, wait, I said 1 HP, right? Okay, so I might speed this up just because it might take forever, but, well, I'll do a few attacks too. But yeah, I'll try to aim to be exactly down to 1 HP, so, oh, should have done bloodletting there. So I'll be right back. Alright, perfect, I'm down to 1 HP, exactly what I wanted. Alright, so heal back up to 10, uh, True Grid Rampage War Cry, let's go with the True, I'm not a big fan, but let's take the True Grid. I do have a bunch of burns coming up, so it might be good to have it. And now I'm back to 13. No good idea on a strategy against the Leg Vulan. I think it's a good idea to start with a Shockwave, okay. And then next turn maybe I can get some of the Perfected Strikes played. Uh, well, I guess I'll play one Perfected Strike, okay. And then hopefully, oh, next turn I'll be weakened too, that's unfortunate. So 13 incoming. Um, I can actually fully defend against that. All right. But then turn after I'll have trouble. Okay, 18. Uh, well, let's do bloodletting. Okay, and then perfected strike, regular strike. Uh, I can do true grit. I will die that way though, so let's drink the blood potion. Okay, that's actually quite a bit of health. So maybe now that I'm taking damage here, I'll maybe accept one more damage or one more attack, right? Because it'll attack for 18. So let's do, I do want to get him close to death. 
And if I do Bloodline, hang on, if I drop down to 18, I heal back another 9, right? So, not 18, if I get 18 damage, I'll be down to 5, and then I heal another 9, that's 14. Let's do Bloodletting, because that way I'll drop down low enough that um, the Hexagos might be easier. So, if I am not mistaken, if I accept the damage here, I should be down to 2, I'll heal back up 9, that's 11, and then the Hexagos will only attack me for 6, which I think would be great. Oh no, I forgot about the Blood Vial. Mm, yeah, it's fine. We got Ink Bottle. One of you play 10 cards, draw one card, as well as another Entropic Brew. And I didn't want to go for rare cards, but I think Offering might be worth it. Let's do that. I'm seriously considering upgrading the uh, True Grit just because it will help me get rid of some of the burns that I'll that the Hexagos will put in my deck. Okay. All right, Hexagos, let's see. Not the best start, especially since I'll be weakened next turn, but let's do Perfect the Strike Iron Wave. Okay. All right, 12 incoming. Uh, panic button is problematic. If I play it, I won't have any way to defend next turn, right? So I can't really do that. Um, let me try to see if any of the brews will give me something good. Nope. Uh, might as well drink this and then one more. No, no, nothing I can do. I mean, I'll, I'll have to risk it. I just don't know what else can be done. So let's do panic button. Okay, Bloodletting, Bash, Double Strike, all right. I'm not taking any damage here, but now I have six incoming and there's not much I can do. There's nothing I can do. Yeah, just got unlucky with the draw. And even if I had, uh, even if I had less max HP or less HP, that, that would not have helped. So there's nothing really I could have done. Sadly, there's no cure for a bad card draw. And I had some card draw. Well, offering was the card I particularly particularly took for that reason. I, do, I wanted to avoid having a or minimize the chance of having a bad draw, but ultimately that didn't happen. All right, let's do bloodletting, strike, defend. Okay. And here, bash, uh, strike. Iron Wave is slightly less damage than a strike, so if I don't need the defense, I might as well not use it. Let's get rid of the burn, and then Iron Wave, Iron Wave. Okay, I didn't even get through the block there. Okay, another eight. Perfected strike is not enough. Okay. Uh, hang on. Well, let's do a strike here, and then I hopefully will have enough to kill next turn. Hmm. I do, yeah. All right, too bad I didn't perfect, which is fine. Chrysalis, uh, Chrysalis Magnetism, or Bludgeon. I mean, do I want to embrace the rare cards? Because if I see a feed, I will definitely want to do that. But yeah, I think I do. So in that case, let's take the Bludgeon and hopefully I'll get an Energy Relic here. Uh, probably Coffee Dripper because I have Magic Flower, I should be fine. So let's say Coffee Dripper gain Energy Reserve of your turn. You can no longer rest at rest sites. I should have enough uh, HP. I don't think that will be a problem. All right, got the Champ at the end. One, two. Two Elite Paths, one on the left, which would give me... One, two, three, four, five, six question marks. And then one on the right. Actually, it doesn't matter which if I take this or this one. But uh, yeah, they both give me one question mark. And then after that, another second question. Yeah, so left side is definitely better. I already have two curses, so three more. And I have the curses modifier. All right, 10 incoming. Let's do shockwave, uh, defend, and true grid the curse. Okay. Hmm. And then 14. Uh, I mean, there's a small chance I might get attacked next turn, so let's not use the panic button yet. I okay. also need to start dealing some damage, otherwise I might have trouble against... Oh, well, I might have trouble keeping my gold. Uh, 22, Iron Wave, Iron Wave. Okay, and then might as well play the defend. All right. Okay, can I deal 11 damage to this guy? I think so, right? I can kill this guy, and then... Um, I have to do the offering, actually. I think I might have played that better, but I should be fine. Okay, so Infernal Blades, Super Rank, Twin Strike. I think I'll take the Twin Strike just to make my Perfected Strike slightly better. Ooh, well, this would give me Collector Bonuses. Without losing the Max HP, and I, honestly, I don't really care for the Blood Vial, so let's do it. Yep, five bites. Oh, no, why did I do that? I'm going to lose all the benefits I had from Perfected Strike. Ugh, that's... Okay. Okay. That was not smart. Uh, also, hang on, I realized I don't have to stick all the way on the left, although, yeah, that's the same path, right? Okay, so I could have also gone this way and then turned left. That will give me two question marks, one rest side, and two regular fights. Or this way, which basically the same. Fine, let's turn left then. 
Okay, yeah, now the perfected strikes are pretty useless. Uh, that was definitely a misplay. Well, not a misplay, just poor play. Which is fine. I mean, it's still 15 damage, I guess. Yeah. I mean, I can still pick up more strike cards. It's just not ideal, that's all. Uh, let's do bash, bite, bite, iron wave. Okay, and then I'll trigger the curse again. Okay. Alright, bludgeon kills, good. Blessing of the Forge, I mean, I probably don't need the energy potion here. Let's take the Blessing of the Forge and I'll take a Pummel Strike, okay. It's going to increase the number of strike cards I have. Yeah, sadly, this is pretty useless. Alright, uh, let's defend. Might as well, if it's the only attack card I have available. Mm -hmm. Alright, 12 incoming. Uh, do I want to do Panic Button? I might. Oh, I, I shouldn't have played that. Yeah, let's try the Panic Button. Okay, Offering. And then I can do Bash, Bloodletting, Bite, and another... Actually, oh... Okay, now I think the backline is guaranteed to attack next turn, which means I... Yeah, I'm going to take 8 damage, which is fine. Okay. Very happy with how often I'm exhausting the injury with my um, my defensive cards there. Bludgeon kills, right? 48, okay. All right, Dropkick, Clash, True Grid. I do have two sources of vulnerability, so maybe Dropkick is the right approach. But no, let's take the True Grid for the potential collector bonus. And I have to risk it. I got perfect. Face of Cleric. At the end of combat, raise your max HP by one. Okay. So that might make it possible for me to... Actually, I think it definitely will make it possible for me to get to at least 95. Max HP 110 might be a stretch. All right, let's do... I am considering upgrading everything in my hand. But no, I think it's better to draw first. Okay. And now I think I'll... No, and then I'll do Offering. Alright, and now I think I'll upgrade everything. Okay. So Bludgeon, 63, because almost everybody... Anybody. Uh, 12, 12. Okay, so 3 bites, then I won't be able to do Bludgeon. But I do have 14, so I could defend. If instead I'll do 1 Bludgeon... Um, it has to be the backline, right? I think I'll do the 3 bites. Right? It's the same thing, and it also heals me back up, so why not? Alright. And then let's do get rid of the injury and then defend. Okay, so far so good. Alright, 19. Yeah, now sadly here is where I can't do anything. Um, trying to think. Uh, yeah, no, there, well, hang on. So let's do Shockwave that brings it down to 14. And sadly with the Speed Potion, I'll only have 13. Oh, that's, that's sad. Right? I'm one short. All right, fine. Not much I could have done there. Uh, this one, I think I just got a little unlucky. Another defensive card or... Well, actually, I don't think there's much I could have done. I, I don't think this deck is well, very well prepared to perfect things. It's not a bad deck to kill things, just not per, uh, perfect things. Okay. Yeah. All right. So I hopefully I still don't have good AOE, right? That's I think another problem. Let's see, Iron Wave Bash and uh, Pummel Strike. Okay, too bad. A Bludgeon would have killed next turn. All right, Perfected Strike, Twin Strike. Yeah, that's enough. Okay, you got Akabiko. Your first attack each combat deals eight deals eight additional damage as well as a Power Potion and an upgraded Pummel Strike. I'll take it also because it is a Strike card. And then here uh, doesn't matter which order. Not really. Let's do the Crush Mark first. Okay. Snake plant. I can probably just do a big bludgeon, right? All right. I'll take a little bit of damage, but I think that's okay. All right. I was not far away from being able to kill there. Okay. And then here, let's do bash, and that's it. Okay. And then here, any attack would kill. All right. Okay, we got a speed potion, which I don't need a second one off. Another bludgeon? I mean, sure, I'm going for the collector bonus, although I'm not sure if that's such a great idea. So, a uh, offering upgrade would be fine, bludgeon upgrade would be fine. Let's go with the offering. Okay, true grid might have not been a bad idea either, though. We got meal ticket, or when we enter a shop, heal 15 HP. Okay. And here... I do have a lot of gold. Transforming two cards might give me something good, but what would I transform? I could transform a bite. It might give me a colorless card. What's the other card to transform? A defense. I might need more defense though. Um, no, I th uh, I don't think I need to upgrade or remove a card. Let's just upgrade to round cards. Okay, got the bite and defend upgraded. All right. 
Nico. So let's see what the pummel strike gives me. And yeah, I think I'll do bludgeon here. Okay. All right, so I am confused here. Let's do bite, twin strike, bite again, iron wave and defend. Okay, so far so good. And then here I can kill, good. Okay, perfect. Uh, didn't perfect this one, but I'm back to full HP. Metallicize, fire breathing, or true good. Let's say I have to take the true good for the collector bonus, even though I would have preferred the metallicize. All right, lots of incoming. I think this is a panic button turn, right? That does, actually, no, it doesn't mean I have to kill a minion. Let's do bludgeon and then panic button. Okay, because none of the minions attack me next turn. I do have to try to kill them next turn, though. All right, so here let's do, hang on. 10, 17. Okay, it's not enough for the backliner, but I can kill this guy. But I do also have to start worrying about the uh, this minion. Okay. Alright, because otherwise I'm going to take a bunch of damage. Uh, well, there's another bludgeon. That is enough to kill. Good. And then I can do an upgraded bite. Okay. Yeah, not having any AoE is starting to get a little annoying. Um, let's do... Perfected Strike... Then Pummel Strike, hoping to draw the Offering. I did not. Uh, this is not enough to kill, so let's just defend and hope the backland doesn't decide to attack. Mm. No, he does decide to attack. All right. Let's do Offering. Actually, let me True Grid the Doubt first. Then do... Because I'm hoping to draw it again. That's my best defensive card. Ooh, I should have... Mm, that was. It's a little too late now, but I should have drank the Speed Potion. It would have given me five extra block. Okay. All right, and now I can do, hang on, I can weaken everybody. So 27 plus six is 33. Yeah, one defend is enough, okay. And I can even do, yeah, let's just do bite here. All right. Yeah, so not drinking the uh, potion at the right time didn't cause any problems. 48, um, hang on. I don't wanna waste the bludgeon on a minion, but I might have to. Fine. Somewhat of a shame there. Okay. And Buckner's not attacking. That's good. So 48 again plus another 14. That's 62, right? Yeah. Okay, good. All right. Actually, perfect this one. Very happy with how that went. Got lucky, though. We got Toxic Egg. Whenever you add a skill into a deck, upgrade it. As well as an upgrade armaments. I think I'll take it, yeah. I don't think I need upgrades that badly, but, you know, if it's offered, if it's upgraded, why not? Okay, triggered the doubt out, then pummel strike. Ooh, too bad I can't do the Akabiko. Let's do twin strike and a regular bite. Okay. Hmm. All right, 18. Uh, let's do defend, defend, and then I think I'll double bite. Okay. Hmm. And then 10 incoming. I probably do perfect the strike here. And uh, actually, there's enough to kill. Nice. Okay. Nine incoming. Let's do bash, uh, s a bite, and then I'll play the panic button just because I'm pretty sure I should be able to kill next turn. There it is. Okay. All right. Clash, pummel strike. Yeah, let's take another pummel strike. I should also sort of do Z. I believe that's my third pummel strike, right? Yeah, nice. Okay. And then he got Sundial. Every three times you shuffle the drop pile and gain two extra energy. That's going to get less and less likely going forward. Okay, next upgrade. Uh, yeah, let's upgrade the true grid to be confident that I know exactly what I'm going to exhaust. Okay. All right, I'm not getting attacked, but I will drink the power potion. Ooh, this is sadly not what I had in mind. Uh, sadistic nature is fine, but not great. Let's take the combust. That might be the best of that. Yeah, not a fan. I might drink the strength potion as well. I'm a little worried about this fight. Okay, let's do a bite here. Okay. Yeah, I'm not sure what my strategy will be because I can't really deal damage as quickly. And uh, of course, I have turns like this. I do have the offering though that will help in this particular case. So let's get rid of the doubt. Very nice to get it this early on. Bloodletting, defend. Okay, and I think I can do iron wave. All right, so I don't need to play the other defend. Okay. All right. Okay, so Shockwave Perfected Strike seems like a good idea. Shockwave Bludgeon would have been, I think, a better idea. Okay, he'll split it to 10, right? Okay, I still think I should do Bludgeon here. So let's do Bludgeon and then Pummel Strike. Okay. 
All right, so now it's going to transform right after putting a bunch of debuffs on me, which makes my life harder. So let's do, let's just play everything here. Hmm. All right. Now it's the big attack and I have no idea. I don't think I can kill or deal 113 damage. I don't think I can defend against 60. So not much I can do, sadly. I mean, let me try my best here. So true grid, the bite, pummel strike and uh, another defend. Yeah, 25 is the best I can come up with, and I needed 60. So that didn't go great. Uh, let's do Perfect the Strike, True Grit, the uh, Panic Button, and Defend. Okay. Alright, this is not over yet. Uh, let's do another Perfect the Strike. I don't think I need to play anything else. Okay. 33 seems very doable. Uh, another 60 does not though. Actually, it's 54, right? 54, 53, I mean. So this is a problem. Am I dead? I just might be. Yeah, this is the best I can do. I can't believe this. I have to reload. Otherwise, I'm dead. I have to remember to put that in the thumbnail. Wow. All right, I'll, uh, I guess I'll reload and I'll be right back with uh, hopefully victory. I think it was close at the end and I just have to be a little more careful. So I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. I think uh, the main difference from this round to the previous one is I didn't play the offering as soon as I did previously. So I just waited and that it worked out in the end. So I think it's fine. And I think I'll go for another offering here, actually. Yep, let's do that. Okay, so definitely going to go with the Column Bell here. Upon, upon pickup, obtain a unique curse and three relics. So that will give me a curse of the bell, curse number four, as well as Nuchaku. Every time I play 10 attacks, get extra energy. The extra Imperiab, sadly a little too late. Whenever you obtain a curse, increase your max HP by six. And Stone Calendar at the end of turn seven, deal 52 damage to all enemies. Okay, so before I continue, let me just make sure I have four curses, right? Curse of the bell, injury, doubt, and no, just three. Why did I think I had four? Okay, just three. That's fine. For some reason, I thought I had a regret, but no, I definitely didn't. Okay. All right, one, two. Oof, only two lead paths, and only if I start on the left. So if I start on the left, I'll get one, two, and I guess after this point, I can either go on the right, which will give me a third one. I can go on the left, which will give me another two, and then after this point, doesn't matter if I go left or right. Uh, probably left to have the lead at the end. So let's get there, and I do need one more curse. Okay. All right, let's do Shockwave, Bloodletting, Bite, Twin Strike, and Iron Wave. Uh, pummel Strike first, and then another Bite, sure. Okay. Yeah, Defense is going to be a problem here. Let's do Defend, Defend, don't need to exhaust anything. Mm, another 12, Bludgeon does it. All right. Okay, got a Power Push and Iron Wave, Thunderclap, Finesse. Let's go for another Iron Wave, I think that's my third. I do wonder if maybe I, I would have more luck if I focus less on collective bonuses and more on actual, you know, useful cards. Let's do offering one. And then perfected strike, offering two. Uh, I will play a bite here. Okay. And then, yeah, let's do offering two. Okay, bloodletting again. And I can pretty much play everything, right? So let's do bash, bite, pummel strike. And then Shockwave. Yeah, let's do Shockwave. Otherwise, I'm just dealing a little bit of the extra damage. Mm -hmm. All right, 15. Let's do Pummel Strike and upgrade everything. Then Iron Wave kills this guy. But unfortunately, the Frontliner is going to come back to life, I believe. Yep. Okay. He doesn't have any of the debuffs anymore. So that might have not been my best play. I can kill here. And then I'll do Iron Wave. And uh, sure, let's do panic button. Save the three extra HP. Okay. And then uh, let's do bludgeon again. Okay. I'm going to have trouble killing if... Uh, oh, actually, never mind. I got extra energy, so now I can kill. Good. Right, I got strength potion and flash of steel, deep breath, or wild strike. So deep breath will trigger the sundial more. Wild strike is another strike card. I think I'll go with the deep breath, especially because it's upgraded and it gives me card draw in a deck that has a lot of energy, but not enough card draw. Here's curse number five, right? As well as a little bit of uh, regular HP. 
And here I could take a sixth curse. Um, actually, that would also give me max HP, right? One, two, three, four. Wait. Oh, never mind. I have... Why did I... Okay, so I only have four. So yeah, let's definitely get a curse out of this guy. Let's do Shockwave. Uh, Perfect the Strike is dangerous. Uh, let's risk it. Okay, seven is actually better. Okay. 21. Um, I don't want to do Bludgeon here. I should have done Armaments first, though. Uh, Alright, let's do Perfect the Strike. 16 is not ideal, so I'll do True Grit and take a little bit of damage. Okay. Another 21. Offering... I can True Grit the Curse of the Bell and then Bash and Bite the upgraded one. Okay. So 16 and then Bite again. 21 still. Okay, let's just do a, a True Grit Iron Wave. Okay. Alright, so sometimes this enemy does give the curse voluntarily and I don't have to attack, so I was kind of hoping that would happen here, but obviously it doesn't. Let's do Pummel Strike and then Iron Wave. Okay, 21 again. Let's do a Bite. Okay, perfect. Alright, was able to get the curse in the end and also max HP. Okay, and then here, oh, this is actually not enough to kill. Let's do Armin's Bludgeon. And then I can do get rid of another curse. Okay. And here this kills. Good. Alright, we got an attack potion, which you want. I'll finally drink the fruit juice. Makes it a little harder to get to 110 max HP now. And then let's take the armaments. Although Iron Wave, I just realized Iron Wave couldn't have been another 25 points. That was a mistake. Okay. Alright, not the best opener. Let's armaments, shock, wave, and bite. If I didn't have an elite here, or a, a regular fight, if it was an elite, I would have drank some of the potions at least. Okay, Bloodletting, Bite, Iron Wave, and then I think I'll do True Grit just because I don't need that many Iron Waves. Alright, Offering. Uh, before I play Offering again, let's do Perfected Strike, Deep Breath. Okay, and then, um, yeah, let's do Pummel Strike. Bloodletting. Okay, now I should have enough energy to play everything. Alright, everything useful. Let's do Offering. And then Bludgeon kills. Awesome. Okay, Rage Flame Barrier Bandage Up. I am leaning... Who's my final boss here? Because Rage has its own merits. Yeah, Time Eater. Let's go with the Flame Barrier, though. I think just plain defensive options would be good. Okay, not getting attacked on turn one, and an offering in the opening hand, that's good. And a bludgeon after that, that's really good. Let's do bludgeon, deep breath, that'll basically just give me free energy. Shockwave, bite. Okay, bite again. And then um, I can do offering. Yeah, to keep this going a little bit. Uh, Alright, perfect the strike. Sadly, nothing amazing showed up here, so I might as well do the um, iron wave. Okay. And, okay, not the big attack. That's good. I don't yet have enough, but we'll get there. Okay, we'll get there somehow. Um, I'm not sure how we'll get there. Is the attack potion going to give me anything? I mean, let's try. Sword Boomerang, or uh, Dropkick is not bad for the card draw. Okay, this is perfect. I can do this, be fully defended, and still have... Um, yep, we'll have a little bit of damage to deal out. 12 again let's do pummel strike i'll upgrade everything that should be enough good okay and then i'll do pummel strike again all right and i can do twin strike again okay oh yeah this is what i was worried about the big attack not much i can do here let's do armaments bloodletting defend and trigger the the bludgeon sadly but this is this is the most i can come up with defense yeah, unfortunate. Um, I should be able to kill here, though, right? Okay, any attack next turn would kill. Yeah, just too bad I wasn't able to perfect this one. I think I legitimately had a chance. We got Dreamcatcher. Whenever you rest, you may add a card to your deck, as well as... Yeah, I was looking for a UE, and I'm actually thinking both Whirlwind and Dramatic Entrance are good. Dramatic Entrance is zero cost, so I think it's slightly better. Okay. Alright, so opening hand, dramatic entrance is nice, especially with the Akabiko. Uh, let's do offering. And then another offering, I'll do that in a second. Let's first kill uh, you. Then pummel strike. 
and then armaments everything okay and then i can do bash uh offering and then just enough to kill these two okay all right uh this is my fourth iron wave right so i don't have to feel guilty for rejecting the other one previously okay and then here i have to stick on the far left to get a lot of question marks i guess i guess it doesn't matter if i yeah yeah so i, I have to stick until here to get a lot of question marks Definitely want to fight a rare relic here. This one should be easy. All right, I could be good to make entrance again. Then a uh, twin strike bite, and then I can just get rid of the curse here. Okay. All right, 26. Uh, let's upgrade everything and then bite and iron wave. Okay. All right, taking a little bit, surprisingly large amount of damage. Uh, can I kill one of them with a bludgeon? So I think what I'll do is I'll do armaments, bludgeon, and even the panic button. Oh, actually, panic button wouldn't matter. Let's do bludgeon this guy and then panic button. Okay, my hope is I'll be able to kill both minions next turn, which seems unlikely. Um, all right, let's do iron wave offering. Okay. And then perfect the strikers. You know, I think I'm good here. Okay, we've got Birthface Urn. One of you play a power card, heal two HP, as well as an energy potion, and I'll take, I think that'll be my fourth true grill, right? Yep. And then here, yep, king going this way, and then our turn left. We've got Mob Bank. One of you climb the floor, gain 12 gold. No one works when you spend any gold at a shop. I don't think there are any, yeah, no plant shops coming up, sadly. Uh, so here, let's do Flame Barrier before the Dermag entrance, okay? And then I will do Twin Strike, okay? And then uh, this guy will die on my Flame Barrier, right? Okay. But then now I have to deal with the Backliner. Let's double Iron Wave, okay? And then um, upgrade everything and bite one more time, okay? So here, 20 incoming. I mean, I might as well play all the defensive cards, but it's clearly not gonna be enough, okay? All right, bludgeon is only 32, might as well. And then, oh, that was enough, right? Okay, Flash of Steel, Dragon of Trades or Bandage Up. Let's go with the Flash of Steel. Again, card draw is always nice. And here, I, oh, I don't need Golden Idol, so let's lose it and gain 333 gold instead. Okay. All right, so Shockwave, Dramatic Entrance, Bite, and just wait. Three, upgrade everything, and then double bite. Hmm. All right, so I should definitely at some point do deep breath, uh, but let's do offering first. Okay, then upgrade everything in my hand. Then flash of steel, bludgeon. Then uh, before I do perfect this strike, let's do deep breath again for, okay, I was hoping to get the bludgeon back, but fine, let's in that case, let's just do perfect the strike. Okay. All right, 12. Bludgeon is 47. Yeah, that's not nearly enough. I'm not sure what I was thinking here. Uh, let's upgrade. Actually, most of it's already upgraded. Eh. Not a big deal not to do it. So, Bludgeon Bash. Okay. Hmm. And then here, let's do Pummel Strike, Flash Strike, and Pummel Strike again. And one more time. And then a bite. Okay. Oh, I had extra energy. Forgot about that. Uh, yeah, I think I triggered the Nuchaku. So here, 36. I think this is probably the appropriate time to use the panic button. Okay. All right, not taking any damage in this turn, but I need to... Actually, I'm not getting attacked this turn either. I think I should be fine. All right. Okay, so we're going Twin Strike, Deep Breath. Let's take another Twin Strike, even though Deep Breath would have been good as well. And then I have to... Actually, it doesn't matter. Let's go this way. All right, Reptomancer. Uh, it can be Coder Mike. Entrance is great. Armaments, the Flash of Steel. Okay, and then the rest is useless, sadly. All right, this guy's not attacking. That's good. Uh, let's do Perfected Strike. Actually, let me drink the Strength Potion. Oh, I'll just use one card to uh, kill this guy and then bash and that's it, I guess. All right, now this guy was guaranteed to attack that turn. Um, let's see if I can defend. Not really. 
Um, well, I can at least kill the minion, so that's good. Defend, defend, Jake's well. Okay. Oh, actually, I'm not that far off. I just lost one HP. Unfortunate, but it is what it is. All right, so 30 incoming. Let's try defending against that a little bit. Okay. All right. Okay, offering is good. I can do shockwave, pummel strike, pummel strike again, offering again. Sure, let's do it just so I can get, uh, I can see the bludgeon in action. Okay, and then bite, and that's it. All right, and here I can kill. Good. Okay, only lost one max HP, one HP here. We got mummified hand. Whenever you play a power card, a random card in your hand causes zero that turn. As well as, I don't have any of these. Let's take the burning pack. That seems mildly interesting. Rising mass. I could go for another curse. Actually, I have enough max HP, so let's try to avoid it if I can. Let's do bash, and then, uh, yeah, I think that's it. So just, uh, just a defensive card here. Okay. 15. Yeah, I have to be careful against this guy. Let's do bite. I basically want to make sure I always have an attack on hand to make sure I don't take 32. Uh, 21 is not great either, but it's better. Okay. 15 is better than that too. All right. 7. Let's do perfect the strike. Then deep breath. Okay. And then get rid of another curse. And offering. Okay, and then Bludgeon will deal 48 damage. Yeah, that's probably fine. Okay. All right, another seven. Let's get rid of this injury and then double bite. One bite is enough. Okay, Dark and Brave Thunderclap Anger. Let's take Thunderclap just because I have... Actually, I'm not sure why I took it. Eh, it's fine. All right, next upgrade should probably be the bludgeon or the panic button. I'm a little worried about the uh, incoming damage, so let's upgrade the panic button. All right, time eater. Uh, I am getting attacked right off the bat, and I barely have anything good. Uh, let's see, metallicize, barricade, rupture. Let's do metallicize. Okay. Bash, pedal strike. Uh, pummel strike, sorry. Flame barrier is getting there, but sadly not enough. But yeah, there's nothing else I can do, right? 19 versus 21. Not much I can I can do about that. So, yeah, I think, unfortunately... Well, hang on. Before I jinx myself, let's play this whole thing. Because there's a chance I might survive in the middle of this act. But, yeah, I think this went pretty poorly. I didn't perfect any of the bosses. Which, even for me, is pretty rare. Um, let's do Shockwave for weakness and then defend. Okay. Oh, and I completely miscalculated. And as a result, I can only play one card here. Okay. I might seriously die here. I don't really see a good strategy opening up. Let's do Offering. I guess Offering is my strategy. There's another one. Let's do Perfect Strike. Um, pummel Strike. Then Iron Wave. And then another Offering. Okay. Alright, maybe it's not a bad idea then to apply Vulnerability. I definitely want a True Grit, but what? Probably the Iron Wave. I don't think I need that many. So, uh, I can have five more cards. Uh, let's see. So, let's do Bite. I think I might just wait. Actually, no. Let me see what I can draw. Alright, Flash of Steel. I can play uh, three more cards. Depending on what the next one is, right? Okay, this is actually good. So, I can do Deep Breath. And then, uh, Panic Button. Okay. You have to be careful. Uh, oof, I was gonna say, if he decides not to attack, I have to do the bite, otherwise I'll be dead. And let's also do bludgeon. Seriously inclined to do pummel strike, but no, I think uh, that is not necessary. Okay. Yeah, dropping down to 6 um, HP, which is dangerous. Now, he is gonna transform. Let's do a bite just to heal back up a little bit. Oh, some calendar helped. I don't think that would have been enough, but you know, who knows. Nice to dream. All right, uh, bloodletting. I don't think it's gonna be useful for anything, so let's skip. Yeah, that's quite a bit of incoming. Uh, I had, I don't even have nearly close numbers on. Um, yeah, no, this is too much. Uh, I think what I'll try to do is I'll reload this. Although I have low hopes, but let's let's give it a try. Maybe that'll work.
Oh no, I forgot to reload. Yeah, I got to the same point and I there's just nothing I could do. I, I do think there might be a way if I reloaded multiple times, but ultimately I think this run was sort of not in a good spot. Yeah, out of six possible leads, I only perfected one one of them, none of the bosses. I did, did get cursors, so that's good. And stuffed, and I should have also gotten... Yeah, stuffed actually is the one I was looking for. Librarian is also good, but yeah, didn't get to 50 cards, only got three collector bonuses. Overall, very bad run. I think this might be the lowest score, because usually I at least reach a 1,000, so 885 is a very low score. Admittedly, I did not finish the game. I did die to the last boss, so um, yeah, that, that didn't help. But yeah, this this just went poorly. Although I guess now that I'm looking at the front page, it does look like very few people were able to pass the thousand mark. And uh, yeah, so I assume maybe multiple people had as much trouble as I did. Uh, wow, actually, I even with the loss here, I am currently 58th, which is impressive in a sense that it probably implies a lot of people had trouble just like I did. Anyway, let me know in the comments if you went uh, for a slightly different strategy. If you're able to pass a thousand, I think that would be good. Um, and I'd be curious to hear how that happened. So um, I'm very thankful for all the comments people leave me. And I'm looking forward to reading more. Thanks for watching. Bye.